Hello my scholars, welcome to my video, my YouTube video. Uh, I'm basically making this video due to a popular demand that a lot of people have been asking about is my fast witch build. Uh, basically this build is something that I came up with uh, regarding like how, based on uh, like looking at all the rangers how fast they kill and how fast they clear. I wanted to have a similar build uh, basically to mate to have a similar tempo where you're basically always on the move, you're always like casting really quickly and you're clearing out the mobs as fast as possible. Uh, basically, uh, like you can actually see my build right now on the video. Uh, this is actually in Crone Castle, one of the popular places to farm at. Um, and basically what I'm doing is I'm using my build. Now this build mostly consists of uh, four abilities. Uh, it's basically Thunder Chain, Thunderbolt, Fridge of Fog, and also of course the Dagger skill. Now, oh look at that, we even got an orange uh, and some stamps. Uh, but basically uh, <laughs> uh, what this build does or the main idea behind this build is all I want to do is I want to kill stuff as fast as humanly possible, get that repeatable done, get more of that loot drop, and hopefully, hopefully get get a red or orange dropping for me that's basically the idea behind this build uh, especially when you start getting a, like high up there in CP you could be able to go to like go into certain areas like for example iron mines uh, Omar lava crone castle or other places you are looking to farm for a specific piece of equipment it's really not worth uh, for you to be using all these as a witch all these long cast time abilities like for example meteorite uh, fireball uh, mystical embrace all these abilities that take a long or like storm of magic all these abilities that basically take a lot of time to cast or it's basically requires you to cast the same spell a lot of times in one go basically kind of just slows down your entire farm and due to testing and stuff like that I finally I came out with four abilities so that way you have hardly any downtime between your your casting uh, you're constantly moving and you're constantly killing really quickly uh, and very fast and I usually did this testing by uh, doing these lovely repeatable quests and timing them basically how fast I clear them now the two four abilities that I mentioned I do use also additional two utilities i use time orb and i also use healing healing obviously so that way you don't have to use your potions and stuff like that and ends up saving you more money and you know end up farming more silver this way and it's more efficient um time orb is, is like i tested it both without time orb and with time orb and i always noticed while using time orb is that i end up clearing about three to five minutes faster like I end up getting to a thousand eight hundred kills about three to five minutes faster um, than I then without the time warp. So that's why I end up just basically including the time warp to my build. Um, but like basically, like let's take a look at the skills uh, for this build. Now before I get into the to to that whole aspect, I want to let you guys know a little bit about my character. Ideally for this build, you want to have maxed out attack speed. Currently, unfortunately, I don't have my attack speed maxed out because I'm trying to get uh, my uh, crystals and my gems balanced out. And I've been farming for a lot of attack speed books. So I'm slowly working my way up, trying to get basically that maximum attack speed. Eventually, I will most likely replace uh, my um, elite rhythm belt. And I'm going to basically add... Uh, switch out like one or two gems. Uh, hopefully if I get a yellow or orange of attack speed ones um, To basically get that maximum attack speed because it makes an even bigger difference once you have the maximum attack speed because it does affect your cast time but uh, One other thing to also mention is my branch damage or at least on my witch that I consider the best branch damages to go for a witch is Al and a heap that's also like really good to have especially if you get your branch damages uh, up to 30% each because then your skills and certain abilities they hit like a truck and the main two abilities are definitely I noticed that I like to work out the best it's definitely L and a heap damage uh, and like the way you can get that just to give you a little bit uh, like a tip make all your gems that you get or put into your equipment 
this is why uh, having two crystal slots on your equipment is so important is to have the branch damage to be one of those two branches as a witch you, you get a majority of your uh, of your uh, branch damage to do this way eventually the other way of uh, getting at those additional couple more points is going to be uh, your actually your uh, light stones so I have couple light stones that basically increase my heap and L damage that I got like basically lucky with and the last one I don't think it has any yeah it doesn't have any uh, but basically those those like this is how you basically get to that 30% once you get to 30% really that's all you really need to go for that like around 30 to 33% because your other way you're gonna get your branch damage is once you hit uh, 3300 uh, base CP, uh, you're gonna get 5%, as well as when you're gonna get your accessory to plus five, you're gonna get additional 3%. So that will pretty much almost get you to that 38, 40% mark. Um, so that's a little bit quick side little guide about how, get, how to get your certain branch damages. And you can use basically the same knowledge or, or, or the same basically um, you know tip to get all your other classes as, as well as branched out as well um, and you just choose basically two branches you want to go for that's the best way of, of uh, doing it now now back to the skills let's go back to the skills real quickly here uh, so like the main skill you're gonna use to kill everything is gonna be lightning chain and I have that lightning chain as a heap so you end up hitting really hard with it. Also, it's very fast. It's very AOE-ish. It almost covers around you when you were like hitting anybody. Like so you can see up close with a chain lightning right here in a second. You're gonna notice that it hits all the way around you almost. You basically, you it's like you're doing like a, almost like a 360 AOE all the way around your entire character, which is really, really awesome. Not to mention it does slight uh, CC, so it kind of stunts the enemy kind of like you know makes them like freeze for a second so it, it allows you to like uh, really get get it going now what i also like as a second skill that i did from testing is a fridge fog now with fridge fog i use the l branch damage and what's really nice about that is basically when you are like even farming in the higher slightly higher cp area like for example omar lava this allows you to CC with like with the chain lightning, frigid fog, and ton bolt. It allows you to CC the mobs around you enough, so that way you're using a lot less potions. So it's a really, really, really good uh, set of abilities. Those three abilities. That's the main reason why I grabbed those main three abilities, because they're very fast to cast. They're and you constantly are moving with these abilities like thunderbolt you're doing all the spinning dodges uh fridge of fog is a very quick just you cast cast straight down where you where you're standing and thunderbolt is the third ability that is very very useful now a lot of people don't like thunderbolt but people are honest, underestimating this skill by a lot here's the reason why one you're gonna kill mobs really fast with Thunderbolt. Uh, it's basically ranged, and you get a pretty good, uh, pretty good CC. Uh, most of the time, like especially like, when you're killing lower CP mobs, you're gonna one-shot most most mobs basically, or they're gonna for sure be dead with the with the second cast of your Thunderbolt, um, because you have that chain attack where you basically cast once and then you cast the second combo instantly from Thunderbolt. This keeps your character moving. Also. It gives you a little bit of dodge as well built into it it works really well especially with the low cooldown that it is for this skill it's a very well filler between all your chain lightnings and frigid fog it's a very good uh, ability to have that basically kind of uh, basically keeps it keeps keeps the chain going so you don't do a lot of any of your basic attacks you do minimal basic attacks this way now the say the third fourth skill that a lot of people hate or don't use or never look at is dagger stab now a lot of people are like looking well why would you have dagger stab there it's like you know mp recovery like you don't really need a mp recovery as a witch 
true yes and no so you do need some uh, mp recovery it's good to have because it basically allows you to like replenish your mana really quickly so as you can see right there with frigid fog and with stab i can basically get my mp really low and then get it basically back up to almost like 50 percent to 75 percent and i can continue casting more chain lightning but that's not really like the real reason why i chose dagger stab the reason real reason why i chose dagger stab because as you can see right there my character you have to run up to a mob to stab it what this allows your character to do is actually allows you patrol the area you're farming in so at certain places like for example iron mine that has uh three those violent mo mobs spawning in that one little area it by using dagger stab my my character when it, when she's in the sleep mode she actually patrols from left to right and gets all the violent mobs killed i don't have to worry about missing out i don't have to come back and just keep watching like oh i wonder how long that violent mob was just sitting there on that other end of that little spot and it hasn't been killed yet this allows your dagger basically makes your character move around more around the map or the area you're farming in uh, you can also another trick you can do as well when you're farming afk you can have it set to like opposite corner eventually what it's gonna do it's gonna take your character all the way like let's say to the middle and then eventually your character is gonna notice oh you're too far away from where you started out where you originally started out you know casting spells and when you first started your farming your character would then run back to the original spot you basically designated at before you allowed it to start attacking and doing auto battle so this way you can actually patrol the area really well and even if you're like you know if even if the dagger or you know the ability takes you too far away from the farming spot you were farming at originally the game will automatically then take you back to the center of where you started casting all your abilities this way you can actually very well patrol and you go between areas where you're not gonna miss out on mobs you're not gonna miss out on violent spawns that spawn like you know like groups apart and it will let your character patrol that's the hidden trait of it and you know having a little just dagger just hitting one mob really quickly and recovering that uh, chain you know chain for chain lightning it makes it like a lot more quicker it makes it uh, for less downtime and I don't have to worry about, you know, my DPS dropping. Uh, and of course, you know, everybody already know about time warp and healing. They both give you not only movement speed buff, but they also will give you the you know, healing ability. So that way you don't have to use potions as much. Now, this, uh, this build, uh, like I've been testing out a lot and it's been working out pretty well for me. I clear and I do finish my repeatables very fast. Um, I basically like, even though people, like, as you know, it's like right there, even like Thunderbolt, it just kills most of the mobs. And then I just basically finish everything off with light, like lightning chain. But I hope you enjoyed this guide. I hope this helps a lot of witches out there. If they're looking for like a really fast build, uh, to cast because doing stuff like, you know, fireball, doing stuff like storm magic and doing stuff like lightning storm as well as um you know magical embrace and uh meteorite just slow down and, and those seconds add up i mean it takes about like three to five seconds to cast meteorite when you're almost killing mobs in one or two skill shots you probably shouldn't be using a meteorite how many of you probably use meteorite and kill that one mob instead of killing like 10 or 20 mobs in one go like i know i did i my, my character automatically cast a meteorite for so many uh, like mobs that it's only one mob and that's just overkill you're wasting so many seconds and those five seconds you probably could have casted lightning chain about three three to four times and probably kill about like four or five times more mobs in the amount of time that it ca like makes you cast one meteor shower now this build is more meant for like if you're like equal cp level or if the mobs are lower cp level than you this is just to make your you clear almost just as fast as, as a ranger um and basically get you a bit get more of that loot dropping get a higher chance for those you know oranges dropping 
and basically just make your character feel like a little bit more speedy, a uh, little more faster, clearer, and just enjoy your character a little bit more, you know, just a little bit different take than normal. I do have other builds uh, that I use. Uh, you guys definitely probably can check out the guy that we, the presser just recently released for uh, like offline farming. And there's uh, really good builds that I use as well. Uh, on there as well but if you guys have any more questions or if you guys have any follow-up please just let me know this is like first video that i'm actually <laughs> recording to youtube so please like and subscribe check me out on twitch and you know i hope you guys uh, enjoy my videos and hopefully uh, i can continue doing this more and more and as bdm progresses uh, I hope to create more videos for you guys. If you guys have any questions, just hit me up on Discord. My, it's Lords of Skulls, hashtag 7510. Or just hit me up on Twitch. I usually stream almost every day between 6, 6 p.m. Central and 12, 12 a.m. at midnight. So, yeah, I like, hope to hear from you guys. Hope this helps out a lot of you. And, you know, may Rivers of Red forever run in your favor. And I hope you guys get all the oranges you guys ever need. See you guys later. Bye.